In today's episode, I'm checking out the biggest buffet in town. Elastic pants not required, but recommended. I'm on a mission to shine a spotlight on the killer food being put out by some of the baddest restaurants on the block. This is Big Mike Certified. All right, now not the craziest way to start my meal, but I definitely wanted to put some salad in my system. Got some romaine, a little ranch, a little cucumber, some fake bacon bits, and a little bit of tuna salad. Mushrooms under there somewhere. <laughs> Looks good to me. Let's get into this. So when I first came to Kingman, this was one of the places that my sister and I would take the kids and eat because, you know, you got a couple extra kids here and there, and it can add up. But coming here, one price feeds them all and they can eat, 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 you know what I mean? So it was always kind of like an early favorite of ours. Not bad. This is the way you start a meal. So if you don't know that they have changed the way they kind of serve, before it was like buffet style where you go up and you just grab what you want to grab. Now it's cafeteria style. Meaning you tell them what you want, they put on the plate, they hand it to you. You're good to go. Just thought I'd note that for you. We're doing three courses, maybe four. We got a salad, maybe we'll do an appetizer, main meal, and then a little dessert. All right, one plate down. Let's go get appetizer. All right, so big old heaping <laughs> spoon of some cocktail sauce and some tartar sauce, but got some crispy crisp shrimps, piece of fish, got some chips. Buried in there is a little fried okra. I'm using the little napkin holder as an extension on my tripod. Let's try one of these shrimps. Not the biggest, but they don't got to be big when they're that crispy. Mm. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Mm. They got good cocktail sauce too. It's like, it's not too spicy, but you get all the little flavors that you want in your cocktail sauce. Let's check this fish out. Get a little of that tartar. Nice bite through. Tartar sauces. Mm. Look at that. Ooh. Some nice white meat in there. A little sweet. That breading is right though. Like a plain white fish. You know, no nothing that crazy in there. A little iced tea check. Alright. Big old, hopefully crunchy chip. Alright, just like a straight potato, sliced thin, fried in plain oil. I don't even really taste any salt or anything on it. No seasoning at all. Let me see if maybe I season it. Throw a little sprinkle of salt. I know it ain't fresh out the fryer, so the salt ain't gonna stick, but. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about those. I guess the last thing on my appetizer plate is is this fried okra now i think the secret of fried okra is it needs to be crispy because okra itself is slimy and it's got to be seasoned almost just tastes like nothing let me salt it i'm gonna put a little salt on it put a little pepper on it now those things need to be seasoned right when they come out of the fryer so that those seasonings stick I don't know if it's just this batch, but it's not my cup of tea. But this is, and I kind of needed to wash that flavor out my mouth. Shrimp was bomb. Give me a plate of these bad boys, dipped up in this nice stuff. Big Mike smiling. Mm -hmm. Doing a fried shrimp dance. Mm. Something for everybody. All right, so appetizer was what it was. One out of three ain't bad. They got some bourbon chicken that I've always been a fan of. 
Maybe got a couple of little things we can toss up on a plate and come back and check out. Let's go. All right, so we got some of that bourbon chicken I was talking about, a little rice, some mac and cheese, a little zucchini under there. They're calling a slider, chicken wing. If you haven't had your bun check up in this space, look at that, that's one of them yeast rolls. Whew. They are known for these yeast rolls. And it looks like that's what they used on my burger, so. All right, let's, let's flip this around. I think I gotta go straight to my bourbon chicken. 100% of the time that I've come to Golden Corral. Never missed it. 100% of the time I've ordered me this, yeah. Savory. A little bit of like a smoky, kind of like a tomato-y-ness to it. It's a nice bourbon sauce. That's a good bite. I could probably just come here and order the bourbon, chicken, and a plate of rice and go home happy. But I don't have to. I get to get all this other stuff too. All right, now I think I rotate the plate a little bit. Get my mac and cheese and fried chicken in front of me. It's got potential. That bad boy's got some potential. It's definitely got a homemade grandma kind of taste to it. I might have threw a couple different cheeses in there to kind of give it a little bit of variety in it, but it does have that baked soft mac and cheese texture. I like it. Let's rotate over here to this thing. A little fried chicken. Let's try this fried chicken. Mm. That's a good coating. Soft chicken on the inside. The fear of a buffet chicken is that it's going to be dry. Nope. Mm. Nice, not super crisp coating, but super tasty. And I don't need it to be super crisp when it's super tasty. It's almost like it matches the style. Everything that chicken's trying to be, it's being. To bring this bad boy up in front of me, just a plain cheeseburger, freshly grilled, nice and cheesy. Bun is obviously in-house good stuff. Let's get a bite. Some good seasoning on there. I think that yeast roll really does something to elevate the bite because it's chewy. Nice cheese too. I don't know if that's American cheese or cheddar cheese. It tastes American. Which I like me some American cheese. I'll take some fancy cheese too, but yeah, that's a good one. Now, since I already got the uh, yeast bun wrapped around my burger and I know it's a winner, I gave my bun actually to my daughter so we don't waste it since I got a plate full of food and I'm still trying to grab some dessert. So let me finish up what I'm doing here, get a little more tea. We'll grab a couple of things off the dessert menu. Nothing too crazy, cause your man's already. But I ain't passing up on dessert. Don't laugh when you see all the dessert I picked out. That's it. It's like lunchtime, so they don't got it all like loaded up. Plus nowadays, they're not kind of loading up the counter up anyway. But I've seriously eaten so much that I almost don't even want to get this, but I thought I could take an opportunity to show you a little trick. And you get a cupcake. This is an old one. You probably already seen it, but get it all unwrapped, right? Then you peel the bottom put it on top and now you got a cupcake sandwich strawberry frosting chocolate cake nice so it's all said and done I definitely recommend you coming into Golden Corral this place has definitely got plenty of food for everyone if you want to hit your salads up in your own unique way if you want to make your plate however you want to make your plate extra protein extra veggies offering you a little bit of everything from everywhere. 
You may be somebody who wants one, two, ten, fifteen desserts. Guess what? There ain't no limit. You get your grub on. Come check out this locally owned and operated spot. Hi, right, family. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It really does mean everything to me. Thanks for giving me the ability to get up in front of you a couple minutes every other day or so and kind of do my shtick. Shine this spotlight on cool places doing cool things. Meantime, this is Big Mike Certified saying, go have some fun. Go do something for you today. You're worth it. But wait, there's a catch. You got to do them things you do with them buzz down below. Till next time, family. We out. Peace. I think the trick's to come in here during the middle of the day because it ain't too crazy busy. And that way you get all the attention of everybody. Pro tip.